Well, we'll be following drivers at both ends of the age range today, but at any age, it's the team behind the drivers that really counts. Back with Tony on trackside. How much do you worry when he's out there? Um, I don't worry so much about him having an accident anymore. Um, I've got a lot of confidence in Lewis now, um, but it's just very nerve-wracking. You go through every emotion known, do you? Yes, yeah. What's it like when he wins? Wonderful. <laughs> He's jumping up and down in the stands. Can you see her jumping up and down when you're going past? <laughs> what about Dad? What's, what's he like? Let's say you have a bad day, Lewis. What's Dad like then? His head's through the air. Because he he's jumping too much in the grandstand, his head's going through the roof. <laughs> well, maybe the start of the road to Formula One for young Lewis Hamilton, the British champion. But this man wants to beat him. Young Chris Rogers, number nine. 91, Paul Darista. Also very quick, as is 22, Edward Tilley. Very competitive, this 60cc racing. This man is two from Crew. It's Andrew Twiss. 54, Richard Miles, a fast-coming young cadet Carter. All are very competitive. As is Evan Hopkins, looking for victory in this one. The man they want to beat right at the front, there he is, Lewis Hamilton, the British champion from the year previous. And this race, of course, will decide the positions for the grand final later. Hamilton makes the early break, but Rogers is through. Hamilton, in fact, has dropped to third. So Rogers with the lead, he's being pressed by Edward Tilly. They might be small, but they've got hearts of lions, these guys. Tilly looking to try and take the lead. So we've got a new leader in Edward Tilly. Has Hamilton gone through? Yes, he has. Rogers demoted to third. And fourth briefly there was Richard Miles. Now it's Hamilton again. Rogers right behind him. And Chris Rogers, perhaps one of the biggest challenges for the crown of Lewis Hamilton in this year's Cadet Championship. And these guys really make these 60cc carts buzz. Hamilton, Rogers looking down the inside, leave that breaking late, and that forces Hamilton back two, three places. Also through there to third place, Richard Miles. Now Tilly having a look. Hamilton now back in fourth, Rogers has the lead. Still Rogers, is he going to make a little bit of a break? Richard Miles in second place now, and just look at the gaggle behind them. This is Rogers, super quick. So too is Hamilton. Still Rogers, Hamilton trying to break away from those behind him. And now Hamilton back up again. Now watch this move, classic. Looking down the inside, claims the corner, goes through. 91, Paul de Rista tries to go through with him. And there is Hamilton. Superb lunge down the inside. Rogers in second. De Rista up there in third. And starting to have a look was Evan Hopkins. Hopkins now in fourth. Very much a fast-coming man, young Evan Hopkins, but it's still Lewis Hamilton, the British number one, the man who aims to be. Rogers behind him. This Trent Valley circuit of PF International proving a superb backlog to these boys. They look over the shoulder from Lewis Hamilton. Some say that's a mistake, others say he's picking his position. Rogers is just watching and maybe choosing the moment to pounce. Down the start and finish straight. This time, it's Rogers for the inside. Hamilton around the outside. Can he hold? No, he can't hold off Rogers. An 88 Evan Hopkins looking like making the break. Four of them. You could cover them with a postage stamp. Eight to 12 year olds. Don't bank on not seeing any of these names in Formula One. This is the slow mo again of Hamilton. There, 91, just behind having a look. That's Paul de Rista. Hamilton slamming the door shut. Rogers is on the outside. Hamilton able to make a little bit of a break, and now it's Rogers again. Hamilton, de Rista's in there. So too is Evan Hopkins. Shove a blanket over them. And 
Hamilton now looks for the inside. Hamilton gets it. Rogers just behind. Can you bet on who's going to win this one? And this is only the pre-final. <laughs> Hamilton again. Edward Tilly's still in with the chase. And that's in fifth spot for him. Darista. But it's still Rogers having a look. And he's got it. Still Hamilton in behind him. And I bet the lap chart is having some fun with this one because it's change and change again. Evan Hopkins is definitely very much on the pace today. And Hamilton now, well, not content to stay behind Rogers, but that's where he's got to be for the moment. Last lap sign. Anybody's guess. Hamilton wants it. Evan Hopkins comes up against Rogers. Hopkins goes wide. That gives Hamilton the chance to break away a little bit. But Evan Hopkins is still there. Rogers has dropped back to third, or will he be fourth? No, he still has third. He's very focused, is Lewis Hamilton. He's got great track craft. Young man from Stevenage. But Evan Hopkins on the chase. And Evan Hopkins right behind him now. Has Hopkins got a bid left in him? Hamilton looking for the inside, but Hopkins has gone down the outside and still tucks in there. And Hopkins is going to get there. He's got to go through. Rogers tries to go through. Wheel banging and tapping, but now Evan Hopkins for the first time has the lead. Can he keep it? And he is the first final. Oh, by a wheel, they both put their hands in the air. But the timekeeper and the computer tells us Evan Hopkins wins the cadet final. And what a race! Let's look at that moment again. There's Hamilton. Evan Hopkins appears to be not wide. The two come together. Over the shoulder, Hamilton has a look. He must feel he's got it now. But then almost immediately, Evan Hopkins, maybe going wide was an advantage. Powers on. They come up to the next corner. Hamilton still has that, but runs a little bit wide. Hopkins keeps it tight. Oh, what good control. Hamilton can't do a lot about it because by that time, the other competitive, Chris Rogers, is also there. What a cracker. <laughs>